welcome back to another video with Arduino. Um, I know this video has been a little bit late, but as promised, here is the look at creating the pinball game, or as I'd like to call it, Arduino Ballapalooza. So essentially, the main portion or use of the Arduino and logic is mainly in this crane or um, dispenser. So as you can see from these buttons over here, you can see in this corner that my finger is on. There are four buttons and they each direct a direction. So this would obviously be that direction and this is this direction. And then we also want to be able to adjust the height or the angle of it. So we want to adjust up and I press this button and keep in mind there is a set range that the Arduino um, servo motor can tilt up and there's down and then obviously still changing right and left. So this mainly compromises of two motors. Um, we're gonna get into how we use that and how this applies using these buttons um, in, a, in these series of videos. So today what we're gonna focus on is left and right. So being able to move this servo motor or I should, yeah, this motor and this wheel. Um, if you recall from watching some of my other videos, um, I got this wheel from the Arduino, um, the robot car series. Um, this is one of the Arduino cars, car uh, wheels, but I use this to um, attach it to a motor so that it can turn. So now, um, now let's get, so for this video, we're just going to be focusing on this first part, this base. So now let's get into that. So I removed all the unnecessary parts um, for the first part of um, the project, with it, which is just um, changing the base and using these two buttons to control the stepper motor. So here what I found is that this wheel, which I got from the Arduino um, robot kit, it can be attached to the stepper motor. But the thing is that this is smaller than the um, hole allowed for the from from the wheel. So what I've noticed is if you wrap something around it, you can use a um, some piece of tape, um, some paper, and if you wrap around it, just try to make the make it a little bit bigger, then it doesn't shake as much. So that's just a tip in case you're interested in that. So. Here's the stepper motor. Um, right now, um, you may have saw that this is the battery that we've connected as extra because um, in case you didn't know, the stepper motor uses a lot, a lot of, um, it uses a lot of energy and five volts is not enough to sustain the stepper motor and the servo motor together. together. So what I have here, um, is just kind of like an introduction. These two buttons, which you see over here, will control the way that the stepper motor moves. And it's also gonna be mirrored in the code. Um, this is the driver, which we're going to be talking about a little bit later. But um, for now, this is kind of just what we're dealing with in this video. And now let's look at the wiring diagram. Okay, so here is kind of a loose demonstration of the breadboard, um, which is connected to the servo motor. Um, these are the two buttons. I thought it would be best not to show the servo motor, um, just because um, the website that I'm using, Walkby, um, it doesn't have the um, module or the driver module that most um, mirrors the one that I have on my Arduino. So I'm just going to show you that um, with a physical demonstration, but in case you are wondering about how the buttons look for the first part where we're able to rotate the stepper motor and change the base, um, this is what the, um, this is what the uh, wiring diagram is going to look like just for the breadboard. Um, and so now let's just get into what it should look like for the stepper motor. Okay, so um, as you, you just reviewed the wiring diagram, um, you can see that these are the two buttons that were shown. Um, obviously, like I've said before, um, the buttons, you can make them parallel um, 
next to one in one another um, on the actual board but it's hard to mirror that in the actual software since the buttons are so big but here are the two buttons um, you can take a good look the first thing I want but the first thing I want to acknowledge is this driver so if you're dealing with if you're dealing with this stepper motor you can see how it's a little bit difficult to pull out but um, if you're dealing with this stepper motor this is what it's called this is what it look like looks like um, there should be some wires connecting to it or from it um, and it bundles together and it comes out with this connector piece um, I don't know if you can see that but it has a blue um, make sure that the blue is on this right side if you're holding it this way um, just make sure that it fits I don't think that if I flip this it would still fit the same way but in any case just make sure that this is accurate and this is how your um, connection should look next thing I want to point out um, you note that there are the different options here. It says in one, in two, in three, in four. Um, what you want to do is connect in one to pin nine, in two to pin 10, in three to pin 11, and in four to pin 12. You can see that here. You can try to trace that. It's a lot of mumble jumble, but. Um, mainly just um, go down these num these um, options and this should correspond to 9, 10, 11, 12. I know I wasn't able to show that because they didn't have this driver um, in the software. So um, make sure that those are connected. Um, the next thing you want to do is when you get to this part, this is the second, the second two connectors at the bottom. What we want to do is connect this one, this gray one, or the first. This is a negative 5 to 12 U, if you can see that. You see that? Yep. So this gray piece, this gray wire will go to this blue, the negative railing. And in this case, the negative railing is connected to um, the ground, I believe, yes. This is the ground. So basically this would be connected to the ground and this is connected to five volt. So five is connected to ground and 12 U is connected to um, five volt. Okay. So I believe that is a good introduction to the um, wiring diagram and the creation of it. Um, you can check again here for the buttons how they're connected in case you weren't able to catch it in the previous clip. But this is just connected to pin six. This is connected to pin, um, connected to pin seven, this connected to pin six. Um, if you ever wanted to change the direction corresponding to these two buttons, you could just switch the pins that they're connected to. And then obviously each are connected to the ground. You can see with these two wires. And these are just the first two wires that um, dictate the movement of the of the stepper motor. You see how it changes directions when I press one button, and then when I press the second button, it changes direction. Okay, so now let's actually look into the code. Okay, so now after looking at the stepper motor connections, we can finally move on to the code. Um, for the for this code, um, you're going to need the ASL stepper.h library, um, which, as you know, you can go over here to um, manage libraries um, and just type in ASL stepper.h, and you should be able to find it. Um, for those of you who are new and are not able to do not know how to get it, um, you would just search it up here. Um, this works for the new IDE, the 2.0.3, and also the old IDE. It's the same process for both. So once you've downloaded the ASL stepper.h, make sure to include it. Um, this just allows you to use some of the functions and, uh, and um, 
lines of code that we'll be factoring into our project. Um, if your stepper motor looks similar to mine, um, that I'll display on screen right now, then you would keep this constant value 242048. Um, you would change this value based on your stepper motor, but um, if you have the stepper motor that I'm using, which many of the kits and the Arduino, um, many of the Arduinos out there have, um, you would most likely stick with 2048. Okay, so now let's get into actually using the stepper motor and its communication between the um, Arduino and um, the buttons. Um, one thing to point out, um, the ASL, step, ASL stepper, um, I really like this library because it's easier to use. It's more smooth. Um, I had some other problems with the other libraries before, so I really recommend the ASLstepper.h. So um, as you saw before, um, the stepper motor, um, when connected to the driver, it's connected to pins 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, obviously, as you know, with a lot of the projects, if you want to change the way the, the pins that are connected to the um, to the driver, you would also have to change these as well. But according to my wiring diagram, and if you're following along with my project, you um, should, this should be consistent, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is for um, the buttons. Um, as you can see in the previous two clips, in the last, last clip, um, the buttons were connected to pin six and seven. So this is just initializing that as well, along with the motor pins. Um, these are the step delay, which is gonna be important for how fast or slow you want the stepper motor to change. Um, right here, this is super important. You should just copy this um, exactly. This basically just tells the ASL stepper um, class and uses the function stepper just to initialize all this. So full for wire, and then obviously the pins that are associated with what we saw up here. Um, we're going to go down. Um, we're going to skip these because this is dealing with servo. Um, we'll get into that in the next video. But what we really want to get into here is the stepper motor. So this is, um, you saw it here, this is servo control. We'll, we'll explain that late, um, in the next video, but this is stepper control. And essentially what stepper control does is um, low, as you know, means that the button is pressed. So if button status CW, um, we know that we're, it's just reading button pin CW. So what is that? CW in this case means clockwise. But right here, the button that's connected to pin six and CCW is the button that's connected to seven. So that basically means that the button, which is connected to pin six, I believe that is the one on the right. I'm not hundred percent sure, but essentially what happens is when this button is pressed CW clockwise, we want to rotate clockwise, we want to call it this function, and this is the function that we're going to call. What this says is we want to set the speed at 500, 500 steps per second. We want to move the motor one step clockwise, so this should just be basics, um, kind of the foundation. Um, it's not super important um, or, or contributing to the logic, but um, here we have run speed to position. This is another function, but um, the delay it's also another important part, which we addressed here. Step delay is five. Um, so essentially, all this is just saying, set this speed to 500 steps per second and move one. Um, what you'll notice here is um, if you go back to this line, you see these how there are two functions being called. This is the first function, this is the second function. And the difference between these two functions is that this is one and this is negative one. So this is saying when it's one, move clockwise. When it's negative one, move the opposite direction or counterclockwise. And if nothing is pressed, just stop. So essentially all it's saying is when the first button is pressed, that would make it go clockwise, move the servo, move the stepper motor clockwise using stepper that move one along with all these others. But when you want to move it counter, 
and you want to move it counterclockwise, you would use the same code but add a negative one just to change the direction. And that's basically it for the stepper motor um, since it's just button logic and making sure you have how we use the stepper.move function accurately. Okay, so I believe that's gonna be it for today's video. Today, what we learned is controlling the stepper motor using these two buttons. Um, as you can see that the, the, the wheel is rotating in two different ways depending on which button I press. This button makes it turn that way to the turning it clockwise and this one is counterclockwise obviously you know you can change this but um that's going to be it for today's video um we just learned how to create the base of our arduino ballapalooza um crane project um actually it's more like an arm um in the next video instead of learning how to turn it in different um rotations we're going to learn how to rotate different to change the angles so higher or lower um, and actually construct the um, protruding part um, of the crane or arm as you like to call it but um, thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you learned something um, and definitely subscribe and like this so i can make similar series videos like this and also um keep you guys updated on the rest of the videos on the series um, make sure to comment what your thoughts are um, and yeah if you really do enjoy these series um, please let me know so I can be sure to make some more of these innovation projects or bigger large-scale projects instead of just int introductory videos so um, with that I'm going to end today's video thank you so much for watching and <laughs>